Hey everybody, my name is Ivica. Thank you so much for being on my latest UEFN basic tutorial that will show you how you can use a customizable light device in your UEFN project. Like always, again, a big thanks for you and for watching this video. If you'd like to support me, I'm going to explain all of the means and options to do that at the end of the video. But now let's get right into it. So when you're in your content browser under your all basically root folder search for light device and here it is it's calling called a uh, customizable light device or customizable light as you can see it's a simple floating light that can be configured we're going to put it here and we're going to focus on it right now as you can see we have that light it's basically like a turned around light bulb we can see that on the grass below it and it functions in the pretty similar manner to the Fortnite creative or basically the same manner as a Fortnite creative customizable light device so right now what do we have here if we go into the light the same instance we have its components as you can see there is plenty of these but we can use the simplest and most basic options right here after we collapse the transform option we have our user option so initial state means whether or not it will be turned on once your game begins light color probably the most interesting one if you just want to add some atmosphere to your island you can click on the same bar and choose the light color right now it's pretty hard to spot being that we're in daylight on my level but as you can see it's changing also you can adapt here whatever you like individual from the individual factors so we have a light refraction intensity it's at top right now light type this is probably interesting you can use either point light or spotlight as you can see it's immediately changing to different basic options anyone who's using UEFN and Unreal Engine probably knows a lot about the difference between point light and spotlight but whatever your purpose in the level is you can change it here and we have light size as you can see right now it's at maximum it's pretty pretty strong there are even reflections from the ground but we can change again that to whatever you want and as you can see the inner circle is defining the amount or the intensity of the same light you can also rotate it downwards again you can see that cone projecting basically in the ground and with it the light is projected as well we also have the option of cast shadows under advanced we have all of these but we also have additional elements of lightning that can all be kind of set up what in whatever manner or option you'd like now under user options and functions we have this uh, basic ability to connect the same light with whatever other device we want or phase in the game enable turn on disable turn off dim this is also pretty cool dim and undim light which is really useful for any kind of atmosphere building that might be geared towards horror gaming or similar kind of slow moving and slow changing atmospheric changes and tones where you want to have the ability to basically dim the light without cutting it off immediately all of that is present here so that basically covers everything that is to know about customizable light device or customizable light which you can then use in fortnite creative and edit in fortnite creative as well but of course you have a lot more options here including going into details and editing individually elements here as you can see there are materials and everything else that can be all edited and modified but if you want you just simply need to do them all under customizable light instances and you have all of your options present here so there you have it it's a really simple really easy tutorial one of the most basic things you can do in uefn in unreal editor for fortnite hopefully you found it useful like i said the options for supporting me if you like this video is 
are basically to check out my Patreon page and become a Patreon supporter. You can also check out my books on Amazon, links for both are in the description below, but the easiest, simplest and cheapest ways to support me is to subscribe to my channel and be here for my new videos. That's all for me, my name is Ivica, thank you so much for being here and watching. Have loads of fun in your UEFN projects and I'll see you in my next tutorial video. Until then, bye bye.